family farms often span generations, and while they rely on that shared knowledge, they also pride themselves on progress. I have a passion for um, my community. I have a passion for agriculture and a passion for, for milk production. On this particular day, the consumers learning about the Krentz farm are kindergartners. As generations go by, they're more removed from farming, and it is very important as farmers to educate the population and to make them understand what we do. Kevin Krentz and his family care for 600 cows at their farm in Berlin. They also raise their own heifers, adding about 550 hungry mouths. I purchased my father's cows back in 1994. Uh, I grew up about a quarter mile from here, right across the road. And we expanded for a number of reasons, but one of the reasons was I, don't, I did not want to be tied to the farm 24-7. I wanted enough employees around that everybody could have some time off, everybody can have time with their families. The farm has a staff of 18 employees to help care for their herd. One of Kevin's sons has joined the team. You could do something different every day. It, it was a new challenge, a new opportunity every single day. I do the majority of the crop work. Um, I do soil sampling. I handle the fertilizer, the manure. Um, I have other pe we have other people on the farm that do a great job in managing the cattle. Visitors get to experience all aspects of farming. What better way to build trust, right? To have them walk on the farm, to have them see hand, uh, firsthand uh, what we do here on the farm, to understand some of the technology that we use. And um, number one, it might give them passion to uh, live a life of agriculture moving forward. A profession that is relying on technology more and more. Well, part of it is, is the automatic scrapers we have in this barn. Uh, so we don't have to move these animals. The automatic scrapers just slowly move under the animals and don't disturb them. Uh, we have GPS in the, in the uh, uh, field equipment that help not only help uh, us more accurately apply both seed, chemicals, and fertilizer, but also really reduces uh, stress on us when we're sitting in those tractors. We've had a lot of rain just recently right in this part of the world, and we got to put some long hours in to get that crop in. So um, it, it really reduces stress on us when we're putting those 16, 18-hour days in. Days that become a bit longer, as Kevin also serves as the president of the Wisconsin Farm Bureau. This industry has given a lot to me over the years, and I certainly I wanted to give back to it. And that's why I continue to serve and had the opportunity to fill this role and, and really help be a voice for agriculture. So it's helped carrying that message up and down the food chain um, that we are sustainable here in agriculture. Being sustainable also means making sure the cows are happy and full. And ultimately, we take care of our animals so they take care of us. They're producing milk so we can make a living off of this farm. To learn directly from a farmer in your community, you can check out one of the many June Dairy Month events happening across the state. Just visit wisconsindairy.org slash national dairy month.